Today we are going to introduce how to install the Retro Game Box. Open the packing box, you will see another box inside, with a few holes on side. These are all the components in the kit, including a joystick, an instruction booklet, 6 arcade buttons, different kinds of wires, cable ties, a GPIO reference board, and a TF card. You need to prepare a TF card reader. Plug the TF card into the card reader and connect to the computer to burn the RetroPie in. Open the web browser and go to the official website of RetroPie. Click Download. Scroll down and choose the type of your Raspberry Pi, and then click the corresponding type to download the image. After downloading, unzip the file and you will get an image file. Open Win32 Disk Imager and choose the disk the TF card is in. Then choose the image file and click Write. And click OK to confirm clearing the disk. The writing needs some time, so we can now back to install the box. Here you need to prepare a Phillips screwdriver. Take down the black piece on the base of the joystick and disassemble the four screws. Check out the box and install the joystick onto it. Insert it from the box inside. And pay attention to place it with the white port toward the holes. Turn it over. Put the iron plate back. Align the holes and tighten the screws. Install the red ball onto it and screw it tight. Take out the arcade buttons. Color is marked around the holes for reference. We are recommended to install them according to the colors for easy recognition. Just press them in one by one. Then take out your Raspberry Pi and insert the GPIO reference board into the pins of it. Now we are going to weld them up. Take out the box and the 5 pin color wire. Connect the end of the anti reverse cable and the white port of the joystick. Then you will hear the voice of bumping. You can start wiring according to the instruction booklet. Connect the blue wire to pin 17. Green to 18. Red to 27. Yellow to 22 and black to G and D. Next, the black wire with several ports. Each port connects to one pin of the button, and this wire connects all the buttons together. You can just connect them randomly. But remember to connect the last female head to another GND in Raspberry Pi. Pick up a white wire. Connect one end to the pin on the button. 
and the other to the Raspberry Pi. Button start to pin 23. Select to 24. Red A to 25. Yellow B to 4. Blue X to 5. And green Y to 6. Then we can use the cable tie to organize the wires. Next, connect the box to the internet. Here we use the USB Wi-Fi dongle. You can use Ethernet cable instead. Prepare a USB keyboard. Here we use a USB wireless board. And a screen with HDMI port as well. Take out the prepared TF card and insert it into the Raspberry Pi. There is a small hole on the back of the box. Pass the HDMI cable and USB cable through the hole and connect them to the Raspberry Pi. Please remember to connect the HDMI cable first so that the Raspberry Pi will use HDMI for screen input by default when booted. Then connect to the USB keyboard and network. Here we plug in the USB Wi-Fi dongle. Tidy the cables and cover the box carefully. If the Raspberry Pi is booted for the first time, there will be a prompt for you to set the controller. Press any key in the keyboard for more than 2 seconds, then press up down, left, right, enter, space, control, alt, v, x in turn, as mentioned in the booklet. As for others, you can press any key to skip. When it comes to OK, press A or control to confirm. Wait for a while and the configuration is completed. However, if you are using the Wi-Fi dongle, you also need to configure the Wi-Fi. Press Ctrl to enter the configuration of RetroPi, select Wi-Fi, and press Ctrl to confirm. 
Then press Enter to choose Connect to Network and choose the corresponding Wi-Fi. Type in the password. Now you will see the SSID and IP address of the connected Wi-Fi on the top left corner. It indicates the connection is completed. Use the direction keys to select Exit and press Enter to confirm. Next, press F4 to enter the command line window and install the driver of the joystick. Download our driver package Git code from our GitHub page address. After downloading, type in CD Sound Founder and press Tab. It will complete automatically and enter the file. Input dot slash install underscore dependencies. Input yes to restart. Then we can remove the keyboard to test the joystick. 